Good morning, I'm here with Tommy Smith and we're at the Melvin Price Locks and Dam and this is a really cool environment. There's so much going on, it's a massive, massive system. Tommy, explain to folks what exactly the Locks and Dam is. This Locks and Dam is named for Melvin Price and he was a, a representative from Illinois from 1944 to 1988. And this uh, locks and dam replaced one that was a little bit farther up river. So there was a need for a new facility here and Congressman Price felt like there was a need for it. Went to Congress, got the appropriation. And in the early 90s, this structure was, uh, uh, it was completed. And what we're here for is to keep the river traffic flowing up and down the Mississippi River. And what we want to do is to keep a nine foot channel. So what we want to do is to keep the river traffic, the towboats and the barges flowing freely and there's no charge for them to come through our locks and dam because that's built into the fuel tax. We're on top of the dam right now. We're looking over the Mississippi. It's absolutely stunning and uh, this is part of the tour that everyone is invited to come out. It's actually free. In addition to the tour for the dam and the locks, you can actually go and do some bird watching. Tell us about that as well. Yes, we, uh, we do have an Audubon Center on the other side of the river on the Missouri side and uh, we're the only Audubon Center uh, on the Mississippi River. This is a major flyway for migratory birds. Uh, we do have white pelicans here, we have egrets. Uh, during the wintertime we have bald eagles. Uh, they even come and nest here. So people come from all over the world to experience birds. We have bird watchers. We do have uh, quite a few school groups coming in to, uh, to come and, and do bird watching. So we, we invite folks to come and, and see the birds and come and take tours uh, of the lock and, locks and dam too. Now, in addition, if it's a little bit cooler weather, what's nice about this facility is uh, if you're not able to come on top of the dam and look at the Mississippi or to do your bird watching, they do have an incredible museum just down um, yonder. They have rocking chairs, you can sit outside. Tell us about what folks can learn in the museum itself. It's really the story of the, the great rivers. Um, the Mississippi, of course, here, we have exhibits about the Mississippi, but uh, the Illinois River and the Missouri River, the confluence of the rivers, we try to tell the story of uh, water conservation, about the, the locks and dam, about the commerce going through, about uh, we do have exhibits about how the, uh, the tow boats can lock in through the dam, uh, but then uh, they can come on tours and they can actually see the, the tow boats coming through if, if they're lucky enough to see them. And uh, uh, we also have a history component and we do quite a bit of outreach too. We go out to school groups, uh, we have civic groups coming in here, uh, we do daily tours of the museum and of, of the lock and dam, uh, and we offer tours at 10, 1, and 3, and that's every day. And uh, we just, we love visitors, we love having visitors come, and uh, we just, we're excited to see visitors, and uh, it's, it's an, a great educational opportunity. If somebody wants to inquire about when they can come take a tour, how do you uh, suggest they do that? Uh, they can call here at the dam, uh, and uh, you know, or they can call the Alton Convention and Visitors Bureau, and uh, we can uh, uh, we can set up tours for them, or we can do outreach, and uh, we just really try to accommodate people. Well, thanks so much. We certainly encourage everybody to come visit the, the Locks and Dam here at the Melvin Price Locks and Dam, and we want to thank everyone for watching.